everybody, Kate here again, going through just some additional frequently asked questions and some pro tips to hopefully make your day a little bit easier as you start navigating all of the great functions of your new line panel and integrating it into everything you do every day. So what we're going to talk about now, another frequently asked question about joining webinars, Zoom calls, things like that from your connected computer, because that's where you have your whole calendar, you know where everything is. Well, let's make this as easy as possible. So I am on the home screen of my Q series panel. Of course, if you had your computer connected to any of our other wonderful panels, you would just go into whatever source or wherever you have your computer located. For me, I can tell I have my computer in that rear or that side type C port. So I'm going to go ahead and just give that a little tap tap -a -roo. I can see that that is, in fact, my computer. This is exactly where I want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pop into my computer. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to join a Zoom call. So if you were to open up Zoom, if you had the app, or if you wanted to go through the web, whatever it may be. So I'm going to go through the web and I will go into my Chrome and I've logged in. Uh, again, your computer is your computer. So everything should look, say overall, relatively familiar. It's just gonna be a lot larger, larger on the screen here. Uh, so I went ahead and I got logged in and I went into my meetings because that's where I'm gonna see, I'll go home first. So you can see um, I'm home and I wanna navigate to the meetings that I may have coming up because I wanna go ahead and start one. Uh, so I'm gonna go into meetings upcoming, of course, if you had anything previous or anything like that. So I'm going to click on my meeting and I get all of my great details, everything that's going on. And right here down below, I can hit start. If you need a last minute addition to your meeting, somebody um, all of a sudden became free and they're like, yes, send me the link, please. I want to hop on. Of course, you can copy that invitation, go into your email and send that out to anybody else you may want to join. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to hit start. So I'm going to pop into my meeting and I'm going to say, yes, I want to open my Zoom meetings. And it will just take a few minutes. You can launch your meeting, um, all of those great types of things. And all of a sudden the windows will pop up and you'll see everything that you need. Yes, I'm going to join. Not a problem. You'll get all of your connections. So I am going to pop in right here and I can see the Zoom platform. So a couple of things to know, let me go ahead and just, there we go. Let me just go ahead and take a peek here at all of my Zoom options at the bottom. So over at mute, I can actually choose my microphone and speakers. Um, so I would say this is if you have folks that are like, can you hear me? Everybody's doing the Ouija board thing now. Like, can you hear us? And we're like, yes, we can hear you. That's where you're going to choose if you can hear people or not. So you'll see all of your different options here. I do recommend go into test speaker and microphone. It will allow you to once see if your microphone is working so you don't have to go Ouija board and can you hear me? Uh, but you will also be able to test your speakers to make sure that you can hear everything, volume and all that kind of great stuff. So I always say, number one, test it out, see what you got going on. But of course, choose what works best for you. You're running this through your new line, your speakers, you would just want to choose your new line. So that's how that would change up. But as you can see, we have our very lovely training team in our conference room. <laughs> Um, so they're in there and you can see they've joined in. So very simple. It's as easy as that to join in on a meeting. Again, down below are all of your controls. If you want to start a chat, all you have to do is tap the chat box. And as you go through being able to see participants, you can see that as well. Also being able to invite additional folks to your meeting if you would like to do so and being able to share any of your screens. So hopefully that sheds just a little bit of light on opening and running Zoom calls from your computer when you are connected to your new line panel. I'm gonna go ahead and just end my meeting. So I'm sure you'll find that. You can leave or you can end for all. 
If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. We are here to support you in any way possible. And this is also how we make our videos. So questions are important. We will talk again soon and hopefully you're enjoying your new technology. Take care.